Hello, Kate Crane here again from England in the United Kingdom with another video for the Gel Press Print to Project series. Now, this time I've got some new toys to play with because I've been designing for Caribou Studio and I've got some texture plates here that I have designed. This one is called Jamboree and this one is called Polka Dots and this one is called Scribble Circles. I love playing with these texture printing plates on the gel press. You get kind of unexpected things, there's lots of different things you can do. So I'm going to show you three ways with a texture printing plate and the gel press to create prints like this. And did one here in a different colourway. And then a slightly more kind of grungy, shabby chic style. You get plenty of close-ups of these on the on the video, and then really grungy style. And in this video, I've cut my prints up to make a tag. The video is in two parts as usual. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to use this one first of all. This one is Scribble Circles. If you're not getting clean prints, it's probably to do with the amount of paint on your plate. So it's either too much paint or too little paint. So have an experiment with that. I find it helps as well if in between using this, I just print it off on a piece of card. something a bit different this time I'm going to use this texture plate which I called Jamboree this is a combination of uh, my hand carved stamps and little bits of mark making and doodling to come up with this now I'm going to start with some darker colors for this so I'm using fuchsia and eggplant if you put something light underneath you can see there's quite a bit of pattern on there. Now I'm going to let this dry for a little while. One more print, I'm going to use this time a circular printing plate. This is polka dots and the scribble circles as well. I'm going to do a combination of this on the top. It doesn't matter if it doesn't all line up perfectly because it's going to be a very grungy print anyway. I'm going to add a layer of alcohol ink. This dries very, very quickly, so I'm ready with my brayer. 